Um, this is really, really embarrassing. Um, so I got on the scale. Like I worked out like two days in a row, did 45 minutes of cardio both days to just knock a few pounds off before I had the balls to do my weigh-in. Jesus Christ. It's the biggest number I've ever put up. All right. I guess I stepped on the scale and I go, man, I'm feeling like a buck 83, buck 84. I was 189.8. And I just walked the dog around the block. So I was over a buck 90. I've never seen the nine. I've never seen the nine in the second position since I've been in like the fucking seventh grade or sixth grade and I weighed 90 pounds. Um, terrifying. And of course, I got a special coming up. So now I am uh, I'm back to eating as perfectly as I know how to and just totally working out. And what's cool is the first week whenever you go to lose weight for people out there, because I know everybody struggles with it. That first fucking week. If you go hard and you eat perfect, I mean, you can lose like three to four pounds easy if you're my build. If you're a big motherfucker, you could probably lose even more than that because it's like a percentage of your body weight. And it's basically because your body, I think, is so used to laying around eating a cheese plate, finishing off a bottle of wine like you're some fucking pirate that took over somebody's boat. That's the way I was living. I didn't tell you guys this. When, when we were in uh, the Amalfi Coast in, in the room, they had a, a, a bottle of Johnny Walker Black, and I started just sipping on that thing, like, every day, like, earlier and earlier. And then I got, like, this weird fucking OCD slash, you know, played a lot of sports growing up, so you get that competitive thing. Like, this fucking bottle thinks it's going to defeat me, and I just started doing a third, a third, and a third, just, <laughs> just knocking it out. I fucking finished two bottles when I was over there in 10 days, man. It was fucking bad. It was bad, but... oh. Was it a good time? I had a nice glow going from, as they say back east. Dude, I got a good glow going, right? From like, uh, it started started at like around 11 in the morning. You know, I'm on vacation. Fuck off, right? And I would just keep this glow going um, until like lunchtime. And then I wouldn't eat for like an hour. I mean, wouldn't drink for an hour or so. So he'd start coming down. I'd just slam a couple of waters so I wouldn't get like that mild hangover. And then uh, we'd go see some shit. And then I'd come back. I'd have another couple, two, three. Then we'd go out to dinner. Old fucking Billy Red Velvet face, Red Velvet cake there. I'd go out and I'd have some pasta, right? <laughs> As, as a, and you know what? They kept saying like that was a secondary dish. So I'm like, well, I got to go two and then one. So I would do that. And then I would also order a main course, which, by the way, I learned on below the deck, the way we call it an entree is stupid because that's actually the French word for enter, meaning basically an appetizer. So the English guy on there is like, stop calling it an entree, you fucking Americans, right? So um, the main course, I was ordering like a, a, like a fucking, I don't know, a fucking risotto. I'd order, you know, f- uh, a ravioli or some sp- fucking spaghetti bolognese. And then I would have some fish after that. And I was fucking drinking a giant bottle of wine, you know? I was going like, you know, rest his soul, James Gandolfini, right? I was living the fucking high life. And then I'd come home. And then I'd have another couple, two or three, right? I was going Keith Richards with the shit. And uh, I was kind of forgetting how many calories that was. But every morning I'd get up and I'd fucking get on the elliptical for a good half hour. I'd throw the weights around. And I'd swim in the Mediterranean. I was thinking like, and you know what the deal. And I was thinking that I was actually keeping it at bay. Like I was doing all right. But you know the deal. You can do an hour of cardio. And if you eat two Oreo cookies, three Oreo cookies, you basically... And you can eat three Oreo cookies, you know. You can eat them like the cookie monster. You can eat them in like eight seconds. Or you can be a gentleman and basically eat three Oreo cookies in 90 seconds. Just watching TV, not thinking, eat one, just sit there. I mean, if you, if you eat three Oreo cookies while not paying attention to the sleeve of cookies that's next to you and it takes you 90 seconds to eat it, you are a gentleman. You are a lady. You are raised right, okay? But even then, in that 90 seconds, you can negate everything that you did for fucking an hour. It sucks. So I wasn't really thinking like that. So I came back and I was 189.8. So I've been fucking hitting it hard. Got on this scale today. I was 186.2. Um, 
and uh, I got to get down to my I got to get down to about a buck seventy, buck seventy two for my special. So that's what I'm doing. And now I'm just driving by liquor stores. And last night I took Nia out. You know, we had a great night, great summer night out here. I took her out to get some gelato. And she and I was like literally staying in the car because it's like, I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going into the crack store as a crackhead and fucking say, I don't want any crack. That's not going to work, right? But she did the woman thing like, no, yeah, it's not going to be any fun if I go in there by myself. So I'm like, fuck. All right. I go, go in and I'll fucking drive around the course. So I drive around the block, fucking park the old Prius, right? And I fucking go in there. And like, there's just the smell, the smell of sugar in the air was like, so palpable i can't i can't believe i wasn't like literally like feeling the grains of it the granule texture of it going up my fucking nose and um i was just like no i'm good i'm good she's like you sure you just want to bite i was like no no i'm a crackhead you fucking you just want to take one hit off the pipe it's like no i'm gonna be back on it so i just sat there white knuckling it fortunately there was this young couple that had a little puppy uh, Weimar Rhymer, however you say it. So I, I got to play with that thing a little bit. But then I look over in the corner and they had fucking, um, they had like root beer, which is my favorite, you know, other than that, than the orange Fanta, the Mexican one with the real fucking sugar, right? Which really makes me nervous about the wall that Trump wants to build. I mean, does that mean that we don't get the real Coke, you know, with the real sugar in it as opposed to the fucking hybrid sugar that they've been putting in our shit since the late 70s? And whenever the fuck they did it, I didn't research it. Um, but I, I was able to uh, I was able to get out of there. And then we just took the dog for a walk while she ate an ice cream. Good, clean, fun. I came home. And by then, I was already going like, uh, so like tequila. Tequila doesn't have a lot of t- calories, right? If you have like a tequila with like a little bit of lime. And my wife's going, no. And she was laughing. She goes, look at you caving already. And uh, she goes, I thought it was vodka. I don't know which one, right? So I'm sitting there, and I'm standing, staring at my fucking liquor cabinet, which I would put up against the 96 Bulls, the 86 Celtics, the 85 Lakers, the 1927 Yankees. I would put my bottles up against that. Huh? You want to go Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig? I got fucking, uh, uh, I got Pappy Van Winkle. I got fucking Johnny Walker Blue. I got this fucking top of the shelf tequila. I haven't looked like I don't fuck around. Like that's what, like, what I like is because I don't want to drink and drive or anything. And I also don't want to go out to fucking bars at this point. I'm too fucking old. So what I like, what helps is if you buy top of the line booze, you're just sitting at home like, why would I go out to pay 10 times more for fucking 10 times less, right? Why would I go out for hamburger when I got steak at home, kid? So I'm looking at this. It's like the fucking Oscar red carpet of fucking bottles of booze. You know, I got some bullshit in there. I got some bullshit for like when I want to get fucked up. You know what I mean? When I want to get fucked up, it's basically, well, I'll take you through my fucking alcoholism here. When I want to get fucked up, when old Billy Red Cakes wants to get fucked up, I like a uh, little Maker's Mark. You don't give a shit. Like Maker's Mark is like the Mississippi River. I mean, it's never going to run out. It just keeps coming down the pipe. You know what I mean? The other shit is for like special occasions, you know? So I'll drink that or Johnny Walker Black. Um, what else? Or a Patron Silver. You know, I got a lime tree out in the front yard. It's one of the greatest things about living in L.A. is you can have a lime tree. You know what I mean? And the honestly, you're just like, how much fucking guacamole can I make here? You know, I either got to get some sort of drinking habit or uh, these things are all going to go to waste. And I'll tell you right now, you get a giant fucking square ice cube. How, how thirsty am I making the fucking Alkies right now? You get a giant square fucking ice cube. and You stick that in a highball glass. You pour a high quality fucking tequila over the top of that. Right. And you squeeze a freshly picked fucking lime off your tree. You go out on your porch on a hot summer day and you drink that fucking thing. I swear to God. (laughs) It's over, man. It's over. You just, I don't know what you feel like. You feel like it's the 1800s, you know, which I don't want to make people who aren't white get all nervous because that was not a good time for them. But for a white guy, you know, it it was pretty cool. You know, things had settled down with the people who used to be there who now weren't. Uh, you could come rolling in afterwards, get yourself a spread, right? Sit out there. Would you be drinking tequila, though? I don't fucking know. 
You know, there really is like 52 versions of U.S. history. It all depends on who tells it and how you remember it and how fondly or unfondly you remember it. Um, anyways, so I, but I sat there staring at it. I was like, no, not tonight. Maybe tomorrow. If you want to have a drink, have it tomorrow. And I went to fucking bed. I had a little bit of water. And then that was it. And uh, I'm glad I, I, I didn't give in to the fucking ice cream. I didn't give in to the booze. I, oh, Jesus Christ. I had a fucking turkey slices with a set. with, And it was the fucking, like, like they took it out of the oven kind of turkey. All right? Not the fucking filled with salt cold cut turkey. It was right out of the oven turkey. So basically, I had a turkey that probably had its beak cut off. It was pumped with some sort of cow hormones. So that's about as healthy as you can get nowadays. <laughs> um, but anyways, I got to fucking turn this. I got to turn the ship around here. Um, so I got to go hard here over the next month. And being at home is not going to be a difficult thing, but it's going to be difficult when uh, I'm on the road. Um, I will, I'm going to be fucking 183 pounds by next week. That's what I'm doing, right? No, 186. I'm supposed to be 186 by Tuesday. That's how it's working. Every Tuesday, I have a weigh-in. Every Tuesday, like the UFC, except I'm not tough and I'm not fighting, right? So 186, then 183, then 180, 177, 174, 171. And then I'll be right up against the special. If I just, you know, sort of go easy that fucking week, I can be about 170, 171. That'll be fucking perfect. And I'll come out there looking like a champ. You know, and then we'll see how the jokes hold up. And even if you don't like the jokes, just say, God damn it. He was really fit as a fiddle. He was fit as a fiddle. I got you got to give him that. 